When I started my search for the black grouse in early spring of 2021, I did not believe I could actually find one. Did I get a good photo? No. But did I get the experience? But I'm listening to the first black grouse in my life. If I can do it once, I can do it again. From those days on, I was in on the deal. My future was out there, in the forest and in the mountains. My time was more wisely spent out there trying than sitting inside, brooding, and cracking my head over my failures or shortcomings. Not every project worked, and how should it? The actors I'm filming are afraid of us, and that for a good reason. They don't care about my time or working schedule. They just do their thing. Wildlife photography has driven me to insanity quite a few times, but the relief makes always up for it. It is frustrating to do something right and not get rewarded, but sometimes we just like to see the reward in front of our eyes. If I haven't had gotten my badger photos right there and then, I still would have had encounters with roe deer, squirrels and the different birds. I would have never learned how many animals use this small patch of wood as a refuge so close to humans. I would have missed out on a lot of things beside the badger den itself. I would have spent my time at home mostly staring at the wall. Nature has become part of my therapy. And it is not all there is, but it certainly is a healing to all of us. This is why we have to try to protect it at any cost. Welcome back on another episode of my short stories, of the things that you haven't seen of my projects. And today we're gonna look at shorebirds and we're gonna look at mustelids, namely the pine martin and the North American mink. First, I try to really closely to home photograph and film shorebirds. And you just have a small look on how that worked out. I thought that worked pretty well, but then there is a hotspot for bird life not too far away from Kristiansand, which is called Listar. There are so many birds that you can't believe it. This time I can for sure say that this is the place with the most, the highest number of bird species registered in all of Norway and it's not Runde like I said before in another episode. <laughs> I 
and there are already some waiters that I guess we want to photograph. Oh. And yeah, they're just uh, walking through the sand over there and I have to change to a bigger lens. Talk to you soon. I would really like to spend more time on the beaches of Norway when I come back. Before we move on to the next project, I would like to tell you that you can support me on Patreon. It's nice that you watch my videos, it's nice that you subscribe, maybe you share the videos, that's really kind of you. But if you think my stuff is really good, maybe head over to Patreon and see if you can support me in another way. Let's move on to the next project, which is the biggest project that I'm always after, and it's the Pine Martin. And I want to just give you an insight in what I did this year and if it was successful or less successful. And it's basically a back wall and two front sides that come together like this. I'm not the most crafty crafter in the world and that's why my 90 degree angles and my 45 degree angles didn't turn to, out to be so exact and that's why I had to use nails and just get this construction together I think it worked Strap is in place, strapped to the tree, really fastened, looks really good. Also have seen the fox pass through twice just passing through 
and I've seen roe deer and red deer come through, a sparrow hawk sitting at the water. Try no matter what, I guess. It's a waiting game, it's a game just the more time you put in, the better it gets. I tried one more location with my wildlife hide at the end of the season, when the days got already shorter and I had my badger photos. And I just had to take it because it was my last chance if I wanted those photos. This is a game of patience, this is a game of putting time in endurance. And if I would stop today, I guess I would not be a good wildlife photographer. It's not easy. It would be not a challenge if it wasn't, if it was easy. For everyone out there which is now a bit disappointed that they didn't get to see anything, I have a mustelly to show you today. And let's see what I found in the riverbed. So today I'm not really trying to hide that much, but I think it's good that I at least wear one color and don't have any skin mostly looking out. Try to get really flat to the water. So some people might ask, because the mink is an invasive species in Norway, why am I filming it? I think it's really important to also include an invasive species in, for example, the documentary to teach people what is actually going wrong, because they're are many reasons why the mink is so successful here in Norway. If I'm not mistaken, there was a family of red-breasted merganser. I'm not entirely mistaken. <laughs> I never saw the female. Really good to shoot in the evening. Even if the sun goes down, the light sky is still reflecting on the riverbed. So at nearly 10, 11 p.m or 22, 23 o'clock in the evening for Europeans, I guess. Uh, there's still enough light to maybe shoot at like ISO 1000, 2000, which is with the Z6, no problem at all.
And then yesterday I was out to take photos and try it really, if I can find a good position. And I think I found a good place where I can sit on the stones inside the riverbed and get really low to the ground. I'll show you my setup in a second. So this is inside the riverbed. I have been observing the mink for some days, like two days. I was just looking around here and then I saw it. It's kind of beautiful, but I don't want to be soaking wet. I have no problem with being a bit wet. But right now the river could actually rise, like the water could rise in height and my rear end is already quite wet. After some days really heavy rain came and the stones in the riverbed disappeared. The car broke and I had to just call that project quits for that time being. It was really fun showing you these small projects. In my memory, they were not successful. While that is not really true, some of them actually had some results and would have brought success if I had the time to move on with them because I had the right lead. So trust in your abilities, trust in your feelings and trust in the things that you've learned and continue with projects that will lead you to success. By now I should be back in Norway. Wish me luck because I needed to get back on track and stable. I hope that you look out for yourself and that you stay safe. We see each other on another one soon.